Yo gang, welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about some bad boy. Get right to it. Box cutter, we got the regular box. I already know we in the game room. So I got this package on Tuesday, right? Today is Sunday. I've been dying to open this thing and unbox it for you guys. So this whole week, I had to go and work early in the morning. So I couldn't even do an unboxing. So this thing's been sitting over there with the case for a minute. This is not a surprise. You guys are, damn, can I do another cut or what? You guys already know from the from the uh, thumbnail what this bad boy is and whoo, look what we got here. Damn, son. Where did you find this? I mean, Damn, Zeus, you're too cold, bruh. What you doing? Because this thing is so we got one more part for the setup and this is the razor black widow v3 quartz color mechanical gaming keyboard so quartz is the same color that we got for the mouse and you can't, can't focus come on yeah come on, stop playing. so this is the of uh, the green switches so it's tactile and clicky you know there's different types of switches by the colors and i don't know i know there's red blue and uh, orange and stuff like that anyways Razor mechanical switches, double shot, ABS keycaps. Yo, wrist rest. We need this for Shelly. Shelly need that wrist rest. And of course, Razor Chroma RGB. Now, if you guys are not realizing, most of the stuff that we're using for Shelly's PC is going to be Razor. So, new brand. I'm not familiar with Razor. It's a good brand. They've been around for a minute. So, this is why I'm getting a lot of Razor stuff for this one. But yeah, see, it says the same thing. Two year warranty, flipped over to the back. They're really advertising this green uh, mechanical switches, keyboard clicking, this thing's all over the box. So razor green mechanical switch, hair and feel size, blah, 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 blah. Not Bluetooth, it's cabled. Um, I, I wanted a Bluetooth one for her, but I didn't. I couldn't find a quartz uh, Bluetooth one. I, I don't know, maybe they have one or they don't make one or whatever. But uh, yo, this is, Yo, this is this is icy. This is icy. You know, yeah, what about the handy dandy box cutter? Like I said, if you don't got a box cutter and you know, you order stuff, what are you doing with your life? Open this bad boy up. Sorry about the lighting. Yo, this thing is mad pink, son. Look at this thing. Alright, let's um I guess take that out first, right? Yep. Ooh, with the pink corded like lanyard style. Very nice. USB. This thing is nice. I'm trying to do this with one hand. There we go, there we go. If you're looking for a professional unboxing, you're, you're at the wrong channel, feel me? On this channel, on the Kim McGinney channel, we unbox and just go from there. No professionalism at all, feel me? I don't know, I like the, you guys know, you guys know my style right? I don't, gotta, I don't gotta say much. This thing is icy, boy. You already know we're gonna have to get a, a whatchamacallit, B-roll of this bad boy. Wow. Yo, I can't front you. You guys hear that? Like, this, this, this thing is clicky. You can't even see it. Like, look at the keyboards. It's raised off that joint. Like, this thing is, this thing is definitely clicky. Has to bring it in the light a little bit more so you guys can really see this thing. Like, this thing is nice. Got a little uh, keyboard razor thing right in the back. Nothing really going on in the back, but this thing is pretty tall. Let's put this thing next to my keyboard so we can compare it. So we have my keyboard here, then we have Shelly's. And you can see that her keyboard is raised, like the things are raised a lot higher. So mine is not as clicky as, as Shelly's. So I have the, I don't know what color, I don't know what color Captain's mine is. I guess we should pop one off and see. Oh, okay, so mine's red, and 
So I guess red is not as clear as green. So I do gotta head to work. So what I'm gonna do is when I get back, I'm going to plug the keyboard in, maybe play a game using this keyboard, just to get a feel of it, because I'm used to my keyboard already. And it is RGB ready as well too. So it's pretty familiar to my keyboard, volume rocker. Ooh. I'm not even gonna hold you. The volume rocking on hers, listen to this. Like it's clicky. Mine's for like a Nokia versus an iPhone right now. But this is nice. Yeah, that keyboard is nice, son. Super nice. I mean, definitely this can get dirty a lot faster than mine. Mine's black, you know? I'll say there's more special care to this keyboard. I ain't trying to, you know, I ain't trying to talk down on the Corsair or anything like that, but still wavy. And I know we got extra, I don't know what these buttons do. So I'm gonna read the manual and kind of show you guys everything on this guy. But yeah, let me get let me get to work and we pick this back up. We are back. Had an interesting shift at work, but I got Fortnite already running because we're gonna use this guy and play some Fortnite. I don't know what's going on here. Some intro thing going on, but whatever. So let's plug this bad boy in. So I move my keyboard up. And actually I might just move my keyboard out the way in general. But yeah, oh, don't forget to plug out the little cap, USB cap, and that bad boy is in a good plug right there. And ooh, I see. So pretty much for some of the keys, so I guess this is a media button right here, that little circle. So you press it once to pause, press again to play, and then you double tap it to next track, volume, of course. And then you have a sleep mode. And this is to change the uh, lighting on the background. Right now, I guess it's like a rainbow crap, whatever, I don't know. Um, you have a, a dedicated game mode, and this is to record macro or something like that. I don't know what that is. Drop in the comment if you know what that is. But other than that, super easy um, keyboard. Get the little Razer logo there. I'm gonna get the little chin right here and add this bad boy on. Has his own little sleeve. I'm gonna break the chin. I'm gonna put it back, of course, after this review. But cool, they don't got they got a little non-stick thing on the side. And let me try this with two hands. And this thing is so simple. Literally, I'm, I'm, let me get my keyboard out the way. This thing's in the way. This thing is so simple, you just drop it down and you have your armrest there, which is pretty cool. And uh, this thing came up again. We're not gonna worry about that right now. All right, so I'm gonna record, play some Fortnite. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna play some Fortnite. I'm gonna use a keyboard. I'm gonna have a keyboard cam so you can see me using it and playing it. And we're gonna go from there. Yo, I can't front. I don't know what I'm doing right now, son. This is a portal. I can't do this without you. Yo, listen. I don't know what I'm doing, mister. Damn. Back to the portal. What I'm supposed to do? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. There is no way this is good. But it is beautiful. I was just about to say that. Good work. But I'm going to need more time. Keep going. Tell Yo, am I Aladdin? I like, what is going on? I'm a chicken. Yo, if you guys laughing at me right now, I, I, I'm i sorry, I, I don't play this game. Like, I really don't play Fortnite. But I figure it's a good game to use to, you can see the keyboard and stuff, but. All right, so I'm gonna jump in a random squad just so we can test the keyboard out. I don't know what that intro is about, but. So far though, I like this uh, wrist uh, pad thing. My, my keyboard have one too, but this one is a lot bigger than mine, so I'll compare it when we get off of Fortnite. But um, I like this, it feels good. I don't know if it just attaches or it just sits there like how it is, but it has these sticky things so it don't move, so I don't know. I still haven't discovered. I'm jumping right here. I haven't discovered right here. We out. Oh, die. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not going to do a whole match. I just want you guys to see what it's like um, on the keyboard. And I don't know if you see in the video, but it's lined up right now, and this thing is fire. So. Oh, I'm doing squads. I'm over here jumping by myself. Oh, rip. Well, you guys can see, you know, me using um, the keyboard. Like, I don't know how it sounds. I, I have headphones on, so I can't really hear the keyboard. But on the keyboard cam, what happened to that dude? Got my first dub for me.
I don't know what was going on just now. I was going to play some COD, but of course, this thing needs to be updated because I haven't played COD in a minute. So I was going to try to play something else for you guys, but I think everything needs to be updated because I haven't touched my computer in forever. Look at this. This nonsense. All right, so since we can't play uh, some COD because I need to update it, we're going to play some uh, Blade and... I forgot the name of this game called. Anyways, let's start off with what we got here. We got, I'm a, yo, I haven't played this game in forever, son. Oh, okay, okay. You really turn your you really turn your back on me, huh? Took his head off. Took his head off. Stop playing with me. Oh, man. okay. Let's, let's go help our man. Oh, oh. <gasps> my son just sniped my son. Ex bro. I try to jump out the way better that one. I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. I'm definitely dead. That was fake. Yeah, y'all saw the lag. Y'all saw the lag. Oh my, oh, they getting it. But to be honest, I don't really gotta play much from playing Fortnite, you guys. Yo, my son's out here is killing everybody. Look at him chasing my son. Oh my God. How did I miss? Oh, he's dead. Oh, oh yeah. How did I miss? What? Well, my teammate killed him. I don't know how I missed. But whatever. But using WASD is like super easy. Bro, my son stole my horse. What a bastard. My son, they killed their horse. He got ran over by a horse. I'm crying. Yo, yeah, yeah. they got me killed. My teammates got me killed. Okay. Then my teammates almost got me killed. My son's about to smoke me because they kept getting in the way. So you guys get an idea of what it's like using this thing. And uh, this thing is way better than my keyboard. I'm not, I might, I'm not even gonna hold you. Like just the feel of it, everything feels more premium. I have better feedback than my keyboard. But like I said, my keyboard is the, uh, yeah, I popped it off early in the video. Yeah, so what color my keyboard is, and this is the green one. A little bit more come back to it, pretty much. But other than that, it's a super good keyboard. The wrist strap is super nice. You guys saw it on the my my keyboard cam and stuff. And I like this. I liked it to the point where I was playing and I was really into the game. I'm used to my keyboard. I'm used to having my more rugged wise, so I know where it's at always. I mean, I can't really tell on this. But other than that, though, a one Michelle's gonna love it. Can't wait till we put this thing together. So. We can play video games and this is gonna feel so good in our hands. So definitely love this thing. And now that I have this thing side by side, you can see the arm wrist rest, can't speak English, on this versus the one on mine. Mine's a lot shorter than this guy. This one got a lot more space to it, but look at that. It's raised higher, but still good keyboard. This is still a good keyboard. I spent a lot of hours on this thing, so no complaints on this as well. I'm just saying though, those green switchbacks or damn, I forgot what things called. The green, the green switchback though, that's that's a complete different feeling. I mean, in the future, if I need to upgrade my keyboard, I may go to the green because you know mine don't feel as uh, like like I like it's crazy, it's crazy. So I'm putting this thing away for now. Um, I didn't even get to speak about the packaging, like what it came in. So the owner's manual and all that stuff came up there. The little booklet and stuff came up there. And the packaging was like super nice. They had the cushions on the side. Now I put the little plastic case back on there because this is gonna stay in the box until we get more parts. Until it's time to finally assemble the whole computer. But this, yo, she got a nice keyboard, son. This with the mouse, you can't go wrong. Like, look, there's a whole pink setup. Instead of yeah. following this build series, I'm gonna get more stuff for the setup. Pretty much doing a Razer build with uh, this pink case. And the guts that's in my computer right now will go into this new guy. So if you guys are not familiar, never subscribe to my channel, you're new here, um, make sure you check out my playlist I did on this guy. This is my first PC I've ever built. I did have a project uh, PC that I, I got like an old computer and put a graphics card in and upgrade a little bit to game as like a little budget gaming thing. But this is like my first PC I put together. So everything in here is gonna go in there. 
and this is gonna get a whole new heart, new brain, new everything as well. So stay tuned for that. There's a few more things we need to get for Shelly set up. And then after we get everything, we don't need to get a motherboard. We don't need to get a um, processor, none of that stuff. Cause everything from my computer is going in this one. Then we're gonna get the new motherboard, new processor. I explained already. Yeah, you guys already know the vibes. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and everything here. And stay tuned for the next uh, part we get for our setup and we're gonna do a nice unboxing and review on it too. Make sure you go check out my playlist and you can go back to the beginning when we first got the PC and make sure you tuned in, make sure you're not missing out, then we're gonna go from there. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Still PC.